I, I love this project. I we really did put our blood, sweat, and tears into this one. I I was a fan of Parker. I was a fan of um, the first movie, particularly how he um, uh, really prioritized his character. As you said, his movies really hinge on the character, and for an actor, that's wonderful because. He, it's a character piece. I mean, you take away the horror, you take away... It, can't, it it's just kind of could play as a straight drama. And I think that's what was so exciting for me. Parker is... He's such a collaborator. He's so uh, intense in the best way. Like, he really lives and breathes it. And he pushes you and gets, a, you know, the best that you can give. He really pushes you to it. And... Um, it was really a trust exercise in terms of, I felt like when we first met, it was supposed to be like a 30 minute meeting and it, it lasted like two and a half hours. And it, it felt like from that moment, we were collabor we were partners and, um, and that never changed. And I think that's something that I'm also really proud of is that we remained that, that trust intact, especially with how intense this process was. I, I feel proud of the fact that um, that we still are, yeah, partners in crime. I mean, it's everything you loved about the first movie, but just like times a hundred. It's and and with pop infused into it, injected into it, it's unhinged. It's a roller coaster. Um, I genuinely really love watching it. I don't know what that says about me because I'm in the movie, but I, I just love what Parker, listen, I like what Parker does in the movie. Uh, yeah, I, I love it and I hope other people will too. Um, working with Parker's great. I think he's incredibly talented. I mean, he's, he's, he's a really, really good writer. He's very smart with the way he sets up shots. He's really good at communicating what he wants from his actors. Um, I feel very taken care of working working under under Parker. He's 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 really really just I think one of the kind of best working directors right now. It's just a totally different animal. It's bigger. It's 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 louder. It's more intense than the first one. I think he's I think Parker's just just really pushed pushed the limits on this one from the first to the second. She really embodies the character and it's 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 a big role, and I think it's some big shoes to fill. I mean, jumping from the first film to the second, I mean, Sosi was so incredible in the first movie that I think finding somebody who can really kind of stand next to that performance and, and, and do her thing as well is, is really important. And, you know, I, I, think she, I think she did it, and I think you have two really powerful performances in the, in, you know, in the franchise. I think you're just going to have a lot of fun. A lot of fun at the movies. You'll see it's literally every single thing has just been ramped up. It's just the deluxe version of Smile. It's like you liked the first one, there's more every single turn. She's such a good singer. And I kept saying, like, you must be so tired. You're screaming and you're crying and then you're also singing and dancing. I, it's just, it's, it's true uh, performance in a way that actors don't really get to do anymore. Oh, Parker knows exactly what he wants. He's so talented and so like zeroed in on what's going on. Um, it's so easy to work for directors like that. Well, Parker's a genius because the first smile, you know, you took the premise all the way to the end. Where do you go from there? And he manages to take you to a different place where you have more of an immersive experience as the viewer where you're really deciding what the fate of this person is that I want to have happen. Um, and it's really amazing, it's really uncomfortable. It's a tough watch, it beats you up, but it's, it's worth it. He's incredible, I mean, I think he's one of the most talented people around, he loves it, he's a dork very fondly. Um, and he communicates everything that you need to know, you know, and I'm, I'm happy that I literally just had to show up most days and smile and that I had the last shot most days and I was just hanging out with him and I got to see how he works. So I'm beyond blessed to be a part of this and, and I can't be more happy. It is unfortunately my own smile. Yeah, yeah, that's the way my face looks. One of the actors, uh, one of the background actors came up to me and was like, I, I, love, I love watching you work, man. Uh, you got a terrifying face. <laughs> and I, I was like, thank you, I appreciate that, yeah. Everything about it is grander. It's more deluxe. It's bigger. It's funnier. Uh, it's scarier. It's more glam. 
Uh, it takes it to the next level and maintains that little personal touch that made Smile 1 so scary. She's a powerhouse. She's the real deal. I mean, simultaneously took her work so seriously. Like, every single scene was so dedicated, asking Parker the right questions. Really, really, really was in Sky's brain. And then, when she needed to, would release it. Would go back to Naomi and give herself the breaks she needed. Um, it was really amazing watching her work. She's, she's seriously a huge talent. It was inspiring. He's just one of those creatives that knows exactly what he wants, um, and he's using every single thing you see and hear to tell the story that he wants to tell. He's in there about what the shot's gonna look like, he's in there about what we're wearing, he's in there about the acting. He really knows what he's doing to tell the story, and um, he, he's just fun. He's got an energy that makes you wanna give him the performance. Yeah, I would go see it in the theater just because it's so big. Um, I would look forward to the comedy. I think it's actually quite a funny movie. And I would look forward to actually screaming at some of these jump scares. It's really, really scary. Uh, I knew that if I was going to ask audiences to come back and give me their time again, I want to make sure that I made it a worthwhile experience. Not just a simple retread or continuation of the first, but something brand new and fresh and exciting. And so. Uh, We've entered this, this brand new world, this world of this uh, very glamorous pop star. Um, she's you know, this, this major public figure who you know, it has to be always on, always performing, always playing this character that people expect her to be, and yet the human being, the person behind that velvet rope, is quite uh, vulnerable and, and in a really uh, fraught state of emotion. And uh, you know, it's, a, it's a really powerful place to start for a, a, a smile film. I mean, Naomi, like you said, force of nature. I mean, she is just unstoppable. She has that, that gravitas, that X factor of a pop star, but is capable of these incredibly raw human moments that are, you know, really, really impactful and, and emotional. And then, you know, she happens to be this fantastic singer. She sings all the original songs in the film. She performs the choreography. She was the perfect storm for this character of Sky Riley. There's connective tissue between the two, for sure. I mean, Smile 2 has Smile coursing through its DNA, no question, but it also has its own identity, um, its own like metabolism, as I like to think of it. And, um, you know, it, is, it, it benefits seeing the first one, but it also is telling a complete story with a, with a new character. Smiles, of course, you know, they're friendly, they're warm, they're inviting, and to turn that on its head was quite delicious and sinister. Um, but for me, really, the, the, what I was going for is that I'm interested in, in how we employ smiles. I think people wear smiles as, as masks. We, we sort of try to project something outwardly that might not represent what we're feeling on the inside. We hide our true feelings with a smile. And uh, to me, that was really interesting and, and sort of where all this started. Uh, this movie is a ride. It is very intense. Um, it's off the rails. It's bigger. It's bloodier. It's nastier. Um, you're going to scream. You're going to laugh. Uh, I hope you're going to love it. So my name is Ida Rose, also Alexis. Um, I am the producer songwriter for Sky Riley. So I worked closely with Naomi on developing the songs for the film. That's something that we worked really hard on. We wanted to craft her sound and make it distinctive, uh, pull from people that we've loved from the past, but also find her artist sound and make it believable. So we really developed it as if we were just working on an artist project. I would say Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, Rihanna, Sia were all kind of thoughts that we had in the back of our head. Just gore, it's scary, but also like some good music, some bops. So I hope that they can jam out and then also be scared. <laughs> oh my gosh, the scares are scarier. Uh, the music is amazing. It's a bop. I feel like I've just been like waiting for everything to be released so I can just like play it, repeat on my phone. And it's funny. You know, the, the main cast is really bringing in like a sense of humor that you know, when you're not getting scared, you're laughing and you're falling in love with the characters. And it also touches interestingly on, you know, themes that are important to talk about. So, yeah, I hope people like it and resonate with it. I just channel in all that happiness that I'm there to be in this movie. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Like, <laughs> They've exploded it. They've expanded it on every level. What was so great about Smile One was just how sort of tight and human and real it was. They've just by having Naomi be this sort of larger-than-life character, they've taken the whole thing and just elevated it so that terror is now universal.
I've rarely worked with an actress who is that focused, that clear, that committed, and that terrified the whole time. I mean, it was just relentless. She never let up, and it was easy to get sucked into it and to be with her, and it was, it was just a joy. She's a tremendous actress. What makes them great are that they're human, I mean, strange to think it's a human story because obviously it's way beyond human, but Parker's writing is so good, he's so focused on character and relationship that uh, that's where the scares come from. You're not scared of anybody unless it feels real. Unless you connect to them on a real human level, you can jump around and try to shock people as much as you want, but as, as outer, outer worldly as the first one was and this one really is, it's still grounded in real people and real circumstances, believe it or not not and that's what makes it scary. That's Parker's responsibility. He did a great job. <laughs> they look forward to just to, to not moving and just being sort of, you know, stuck in their seats, terrified, sweating a lot. Uh, I don't know. Everybody gets terrified in a different way. Bodily functions. I, I, it's just, it's going to be uncomfortable, but fabulously fun.